right, what is up you guys? And of course as always, welcome back to another OU battle, which is truly the Scarender. And so we're going against Salomon's TV or Matthew, who has been a really long time follower and a great guy overall. I'm very happy to actually still have him around as uh, we both started Gen 6 for battles and uh, always join my stream has been very very charismatic and friendly so I'm just happy that people that are still playing this game for so long are still sticking around and his team is actually in theory weaker than mine because it's a UU team with uh, some lower tier Pokemon while my team is OU with lower tier Pokemon so hopefully we still can be able to balance it out and you know as always you know we try to be somewhat productive let's see my opponent's team is Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like this. Um, so I'll absolutely see the stick web, right? That's fair. Um, I think my Velisraf 4 is a phenomenal lead overall, but I really won't be able to. Um, this organizer's gonna break me apart if I'm doing this wrong. <sighs> Actually, Arcanine looks very intimidating. And I don't own the speed tier, or I do with Tauros, but we see Verizion. Verizion? No? That is absolutely annoying. And I'm gonna leave Whimsicon to be dealing with that. Hmm. What is my best lead here anyway? I'm, I kind of feel like Velis Rathor is my best lead, because it punishes everything he has, besides the Sasslash, which will come in naturally. So, I think my lead is to lead off with the Velis Raph 4 and then bring in my um, Michael Lysopod just to really, really hard threaten him if that's the lead. Because the way I see it, there is no way he's sticking around to get Stick Web up in exchange of his life. Right? Like, I'm not crazy for suggesting that. Let's see, my final leads are with Woofers. And all of a sudden. I have a terrible matchup. Or actually, it's not terrible, but it's it's annoying to say the least. It's, it's a will o wisp here we go situation, and I don't want to be a part of that. The good part is that thanks to Intimidate, he's no longer Flash Fire. So I'm hoping for a will o wisp. Scorching Sands, that's. Uh, um, that's the way it was, actually. <laughs> Absolutely can't take another one of those, are Damn it! <laughs> so it's a special goddamn freaking Arcanine. <laughs> so I think it's gonna keep on going for Scorching Sands, that's fair. Um, I'm not gonna risk it, even though I risked the burn, I realize that. It doesn't do anything, but there it is. Oh my god, I am gonna get defeated by this, aren't I? Alright, liquidation, here we go, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm getting destroyed. Here's a flamethrower. It shouldn't do anything to us, but we are not gonna do anything to him either. At this point, I'm just happy to do damage. Let's see. Yeah. I'm gonna go for a Sucker Punch here. I think it's gonna go for Flamethrower. Withdraws. Damn it! Rice Cake! Alright, alright. Let's see. No Emerge Exit, at least. I just gotta keep going, going at it, right? It's just a solid attack at least, and I am absolutely sacking Garrus right now because it's worthless. Oh, we clutched it, cool. So he is forced to stay in, <laughs> which means it's Toro's time. Unless he outspeeds me, this is gonna absolutely sting. And I don't believe any of his switch-ins enjoy coming into a body slam here. 
I am, by the way, being screwed over heavily, and I have no idea what to do. So Mr. Freeze comes in. It's a wonderful nickname, by the way. And uh, it could be two things. And it's leftovers, which means it's now dead. I'll take that. It's a it's an honorable sacrifice offering the cow the fridge. It's usually the opposite. I offer my cows the fridge, by the way. <laughs> Most of the time. Here comes Rufus. Another potential switch in. And uh, how much will it do to him? It's a 2-hit kill also. So I guess it's... This is Toro's day, for sure. Finally having a Toro's game. All I needed was a phenomenal start. Let's see, so Sand Slash basically is gone, which means that in theory Drag Assault with the obvious that it doesn't miss an attack could potentially I'm not gonna say sweep because I'm just gonna screw myself over. Epona comes in, Verizion. <sighs> I do have a switch in for Verizion at least. Because Verizion has Air Slash, which is his only real move of actually absolutely pop me and I I'm aware of that, but I think the close combat is the thing that's gonna come my way. Mega horns, that's way worse. Stomach that though. Not well. And I U turned, so I misplayed. God damn it. I should have tailwind. No! No! Jesus! Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Alright, so we know it's scarfed. Um, oh my god, just almost screwed myself over. I was gonna go for a tailwind. <laughs> Alright, so I have one first impression left in me, and I'm gonna absolutely go for it. No matter the switching, I don't care. If Arcanine comes in, so be it. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. To waffers. Oh, I gotta think about this. This was not how I was anticipating things. Oh yeah, that did absolutely nothing. Uh, still have one more turn though. What is this? Got a sucker punch here. Uh, I think it could morning sun. Yeah, that's nice. I knew that. Ah, have you ever played a game where you just felt you lost everything as you g basically started? I'm I'm feeling that right now. And the only thing I'm gonna do is try not to be destroyed by a freaking Verizon. I'm gonna go for Tailwind here. He does decide to stay, which is nice. Scorching Sands, that's fair. And the way I see it, like I threatened him out. But that Verizon is looking very, very, very stellar. Let's see, did he have enough fairy left? No ground type, I know that. He has. Every reason to be afraid of this. I mean, Bolt Peak is no matter what I do, my strongest hit. This side is in, and we... Fuck, I hate... Hustle! <laughs> so much. Don't get burned. <laughs> like, 100 accuracy? Sure-ish. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Sock 9 is gone. Um... But at what cost? Can I even beat the Verizon right now? Like, oh gee, like he locks himself into... Oh, I don't want to watch this game anymore. <laughs> right? Rotom. Like, 
both be just as strong, really. Because of double the power, I think it's very stronger. Come on, connect his. We are faster. That's all we are. Because you are leftovers. Nice. So Rotom is also gone. <laughs> it was moving so slow, so I wasn't sure that was actually true. I was just telling myself that just maybe I'm not screwed over. So Pona comes in again, and I feel we have a close combat situation going on here. And I have no close combat switchings anymore. So... <sighs> Firefang here, we're not gonna stomach this. No way. I don't think that crit mattered, and even if, if it did, it doesn't matter because I think my opponent just knocks this out of park. Quite frankly, I'm just, yeah, I, I, I'm sure there was a situation here where I could have potentially come on top, but uh, me screwing up that tailwind with the whimsy card, I mean, that's that was it. There was a difference between getting me getting two tailwinds and only one tailwind. Right, with free strike, I really hope it cuts it. He does decide to switch out, which I think is fair. To Spooderman. Let's see. What type of these are you? Alright. I don't believe he would go for a liquidation. I don't believe he would go for that. So I'm gonna send in Jum Jum. This guy, though. This guy. Ah. <laughs> Damn, that hurts. Alright, gonna send in Tori Zeon. I'm gonna get my free. Oh, so free body slam. Like, if I were him, would I sack. I was gonna say, would I sack Rotom? Or not Rotom, um, this guy. I right, cool. Hmm. I can't stop him. <laughs> I can't stop him from killing me. He must close oh, Ghost Leaf Blade. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I think you I think you had to close combat there. I think you had to close combat. Why did he do that? I don't know what he was thinking. So I think I get my win here. Uh, now I had, I'm, I'm just gonna save my plants, what they were. Even though Tauros knocks it out of park, had a close combat that would knock out Tauros. My idea from there would have been to freeze strike no matter what, if it goes for close combat, no matter what. The big game, I think it choked there, and I think. He had another idea in mind that didn't pan out, or thinking I would switch out. I have no idea. Um, but anyway, a, a, a rough idea. Since I am a bulky Mr. Rhyme, the idea was a free strike, um, no matter what his switching is. Um, when I get in Araquanid, I can rapid spin slack off that combination. I need to rapid spin three times to outspeed that Ryan So my idea was to kind of build that upon. But I didn't get to showcase that because the leech life would do roughly around 30 to 40 percent, which means I could stall that through unless he called those plays or get a crit on me or go hyper aggressive with liquidation, which probably would have been overall the better play. But that was my idea. 
like I said, while I'm bulky, I don't know how much bulk I could bulk through versus that Arachmanid, but I'll take this win. Um, like I said, I, I lost, or I think I misplayed with the Tailwind, or I did, no, I did make the... <laughs> I'll, I'll choose the wrong, I was not supposed to U-turn, I was going to be able to have two turns of Tailwinds extra to be able to punish my opponent way harder than I was able to do. And of course, Dragosol missing Hustle, wonderful. What a, what a grand idea, I hate Dragosol even more now. Uh, but anyway guys, thank you for all of watching, and to Matthew, Salman's TV, you, you're really, really, really great to have a chance to battle you again. You, you're just awesome, so I really mean that. Thank you for uh, staying around and taking a battle there. And for the bottom of this, like I said, take care. Bye, guys.